So, uh, welcome back everyone. As you can see, we just entered uh, the breeding loft. I'm gonna do a little update uh, on how things are going here. So, um, I have to say, um, between uh, last video and this video, not too much has changed here. Uh, basically, in the last video, all the birds in the breeding loft had laid eggs and yeah, uh, so nothing much more can change, but we are gonna uh, check some eggs here to see the fertility, uh, if they're good, if they're bad. Um, we'll do that here uh, in a moment. Um, but yeah, upstairs we do have some more um, troubles than we expected, uh, which we'll go over when we, when we go upstairs. Um, so yeah, a little bit on the grizzle right there. Um, yeah, we did uh, try it last season. I did. I did see. I I, I got some comments saying uh, we should try vi vitamin E and um, some other stuff as well uh, that I hadn't heard of before. But yeah, uh, last year we did uh, pluck his feathers um, around the buttocks area, and then we also plucked the buttocks area around the hen uh, he was with, and then also. We tried this fertility drug, which was basically basically vitamin E with some other stuff as well. Um, I also uh, heard people say that uh, he's eight years old now, uh, going on nine. So indeed, he should still be fertile. Um, they, we usually lose fertility around eleven or twelve years old. Uh, some even longer. Uh, some um, a little bit earlier. It really. Um, revolves around 11 or 12 years old but yeah with uh, some birds it just um, happens way earlier uh, even we've got we've even heard of birds that have, that have gone infertile uh, as early as five or six years old um, so yeah I guess this one is an early one as well uh, but either way let's uh, check the eggs here I believe these are still the original eggs so Nope, as you can see, as hollow as can be, and this other one as well. Not even a single vein. Nope, oops, that was... Yeah, and these are as hollow as they can be. Uh, as I expected, you know, uh, you can always hope for a Christmas miracle, but um, yeah, it was to be expected. So let's check some random eggs here. Um, let's go with this, this guy here. Might be a little bit skittish. So as you can see, this one is a good egg and the, the light doesn't shine through as much. You can't really see veins anymore because they're quite well along already. Um, I don't think I have any early ones where you can see veins, but yeah. Uh, so obviously those are good because they don't let through any light. So yeah, why might as well uh, check this this one as well. This one is actually this bird is actually even older or right about as old as this um, S eight hundred one here, the grizzle. So yeah, as you can see, these are good as well. So I think these birds are of the same year. Um, let's check his ring. That's a yellow ring. Um, let's check. Yeah, see, he has a yellow as well. So they're both uh, 2014 birds. Uh, we actually gifted that one away uh, to some friend, uh, fans here to breed out of. Uh, and he did breed out of it like three or four years. Uh, and then we did ask it back because he was going to get rid of it. But we asked it back just because uh, we were losing a little bit much of our old bloodline. So originally we thought that that uh, guy was um, uh, like the same blood strain as this one. Uh, the two time ace pigeon here, which were losing bloodlines of like crazy. Uh, that's why we wanted to get him back, but it turns out it's a different one. Uh, 
still I believe they're related but not really as close as we as we thought they would be so uh, but yeah anyway we did get some old strain back right there so this bird actually reminds me a lot of uh, 611's father right here this is 611's father I think they might be closer related than we uh, thought they would be um, as you can see they look alike quite a lot so yeah, um, those two eggs are also going to be bad, uh, like we said before. The rest of them should be good. Uh, looks like these guys. Um, oh yeah, this is this is a fresh couple, a new one we put on here. I believe they paired up in the hand loft and then we moved them over here. We thought that one bird was still too young, uh, as it's a late 2020 bread, so yeah oops looks like something ran went wrong there so i believe i mentioned this guy wrong this isn't actually a paul sturgs bird but uh this one of our own the paul sturgs birds are in the in the separate loft right there uh, the little loft. I don't know what happened here, but looks like some changed up nest boxes for some reason. Or it might just be a new addition as well. So, yeah, let's check 8 with 3 3 here. Should have good eggs. If he wants to lift those beds off of them. Looks like a real big eggs as well, so yeah, these are good. Again, you can see it quite quickly. Whoops. I wanted to get um I wanted to get some with actual veins in them, but I think they're a little bit too far along all all of them, so we might have a few in the top loft, uh, we'll have a look. I'm actually not sure when uh, the veins actually start to show. Might be around like the fifth day or something, I don't know. But yeah, let's see if we got some upstairs. We did have this as well, this is a heat plate. It does give off a little bit of warmth. Um, so like I said before, we do have some troubles on this loft. Um, all of these yearlings here are taking way too long to lay eggs for some reason. Uh, even though the, as you can see, the cockbirds do chase the hens in the, in the nest, like he's doing there. Uh, so yeah, and like he's doing. So they do chase them uh, quite a lot, uh, especially when they leave the nest box. But yeah, for some reason the hens just don't want to lay. Uh, we've had this trouble uh, before, but that was due to lack of uh, lack of calcium, lack of chalk uh, that they eat, have to eat in order to make uh, like egg material. But yeah, that's not the case today. Uh, now because we do. In the grids right there is a lot of chalk uh, already mixed in, so that won't be the trouble. We thought it was due to the cold, but it's been it's been pretty warm for the last uh, five days or so. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the what the deal is here. Um, so she's laying on the on the nest. Let's see. Nope, not the egg yet. Not the egg in sight. None of these either. Uh, obviously, the, uh, these older birds here uh, did have eggs already. Uh, 
and this guy as well. This did have two X, and then 611 also had two X. I believe this might be an older hen as well, or an old cockbird, I'm not sure. No idea why there's three birds in this one, but... Oh! Looks like we do have two in here, so that's... Uh, that's an improvement. I believe that wasn't the case uh, last time, so... But yeah, the rest of them are taking a very, very long time. And this one down here already had two eggs as well. But yeah, like I said, this loft is uh, being very troublesome. Uh, I don't know what it could be. We have added the heat plate as well, uh, so they're a little bit warmer, but I'm not sure. So what I am noticing uh, on this loft here today, obviously the floor is a little bit wet, but um, it's usually a lot more wet during breeding season. Uh, obviously this made this loft isn't ideal for breeding, it's a flying loft. Um, but yeah, I am no noticing that, uh, that it's a lot less wet than it usually is. This one made a really nice nest here. But yeah, they're taking a very, very long time here. So I'm thinking this was the last one to have laid eggs. So let's take a look. Might be able to see here. Nope, looks like these are, oops, you can't see. These are already quite filled in as well. So I'm not sure which one's the last one to lay eggs, uh, but yeah, these are fertile. I don't expect anything less, to be honest. These are young birds, they should all be fertile, so yeah. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed, uh, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and have a good day.